Hey everybody, just gonna do a video on the new ice cream sandwich update on the Google Nexus S and this is how it starts up. So this is the lock screen and to unlock the phone you can either go to the right and straight away unlock the phone and go to the left if you wanna jump straight to the camera. Okay, these are the home screens, they stay the same if you're upgrading to the ICS the home screen don't change when you upgrade so yeah if you reach the end of any list or anything it used to give a yellow shade now instead it shows a blue light blue shade you can probably see it and yeah the menu instead of scrolling down you scroll sideways in the Nexus S and when you reach the end of the application menu you start the widget menu or you could just tap apps and go to the apps menu or just tap widgets and jump straight to widget menu so obviously as we know you just we can drag and drop any widget on any home screen there is space on. The Google search bar always remains on the top of the menu on the home screen. You can either speak into it by tapping on the mic or just type. We're gonna try the voice recognition. I love ice cream sandwich. The recognition is way faster and I can tell you that because my internet is so slow snails travel faster okay um the web browser changing the tabs is a lot easier you can add a tab by clicking on the tab on the top right corner and it's you can browse it vertically like a list instead of the sideways like in the galaxy s2 and galaxy s um Excuse me. The camera. Where is the camera? Okay. The camera style changes totally. You can change the video by clicking on any of these. You can go back. Oops. Okay back on the camera again. Yep, you can change the settings by clicking on the settings which is gonna be notified by this sign hereafter by Google. Okay, going back to normal. Um Google Nexus has didn't have a videos app or originally installed on the Nexus S but now it has a videos menu. So you can either browse the rental videos that you get, you get from uh, the market or just tap on the personal videos if you want to browse the videos from your phone okay that's there and that's new the videos menu is new then the gallery changed a lot instead of giving you sideways albums it gives you all stuck to each other kind of thing then when you click on any album, it, all the pictures are sort of attached to each other. Like, I think it's like that isn't in, in the Windows phones. But yeah, this is pretty cool. When you click on any picture, this, this is taking some time to load because it just installed ICS, like literally a few minutes ago. Okay, you click on any picture, then you can browse other pictures from the bottom of it and just jump straight to that picture without having to go and go back into the album and stuff so that I love this option and other things that changed are the way the menus are displayed for example settings the way it's listed is totally different and it looks way better than, than before 
and that's quite impressive. So, you know, display it's almost the same as before, but this part is quite different. Love it. Then we jump to the notification bar. Yes, it's blue, and that's nice. It looks way better than the stupid old color which I already forgot. Okay, too bad. But yeah, the notification bar is pretty cool. Love it. Then, what did I miss? What did I miss? Okay, the contacts list. Very different. Very different. Appears in this way. You can obviously. Scroll up and down. Those are the favorites, those are groups. I think it's links links to Facebook from there as well. And the dialer pad is totally different than before. It looks better. So yeah, awesome. Good work. My favorite thing about the ice cream sandwich is when you attach the USB cable onto the phone everything goes landscape so even the lock screen but you can't unlock it like that but when you slide on it even in normal mode when you slide on it you can just see the time in a very dim way and when you slide back it comes back to normal that is awesome click on back to go go to the home screens yeah on the left you get the google search bar on the right side you get the normal menu that you get on the bottom usually but the home screen are way smoother and love the fact that they become smoother when they're in the landscape mode and even the menus they're in the landscape and way smoother the way the menus change or the other one comes on, comes on top of it and the previous one disappears or the other way around that is sick Mm -hmm. Um, I guess that's about it that I know until now because just installed the ICS literally a few minutes ago and that time 3.46 is not PM it's actually AM so kinda sleepy can't be bothered to look at any more of it for now but yeah enjoy guys take care good night wait a minute Forgot to show you guys this. You can jump straight to the camera. I told you about it. Never showed you. Okay, going back. <sighs> also, I forgot to tell you about the music menu, which I had in mind. I don't know how it slipped. Music. Okay, that's in music. Gone really sleepy. Movie studio. There wasn't a movie studio. Okay, let me check that out first. Kind of getting carried away. Yeah, there used to be a movie studio in the Galaxy S2, but never in the Nexus S. So, quite impressive. I'd like to edit some videos on the phone itself. So, the music menu. Wow. That's the way the playlists are shown. Kind of like it used to be in the Samsung Jet. S8000 I love it Hello Where'd it go? Found it So difficult to look for stuff Actually everything is set alphabetically So That is amazing Okay, artists, albums, and songs. Wait, songs, here we are. So, basically, when you play any song, when you click on it, it shows you the details about the album, the artists, and all that stuff. But you can increase and decrease the volume from the screen itself. Also, when you lock the phone, 
try to unlock it it shows over there what music you're playing so you can tap next you don't have to unlock the phone to do all that or and then again the same unlock thing go to the camera go to the lock screen unlock okay those are the interesting things that change visually about the okay it shows here as well huh. anything else am I forgetting anything else not really the market is the same as we got in the upgrade for the market yep that's about it I'm gonna show you the speed of Bluetooth later if I get hands on another Nexus S or another phone basically because I'm using the Galaxy S2 to record the videos so there's no way I can do that but yeah I'm going to show you the NFC transfer, I don't even know what it's called. So yeah, soon. See you guys later. Take care. Bye bye.